Hi, I'm JP Danko from BlurMediaPhotography.com, and this is a gear review for DIYPhotography.net. The first series of photos here are uh, my wife and I posing for a few selfies on the beach in Cuba, and you might be wondering how the heck did I take overhead aerial style photos on the beach? Was my camera up in a coconut tree? Was I using a drone? Was I hanging out the window of a helicopter? Well, obviously not because I'm in the photos. Or was I using some sort of giant selfie stick? And actually that last one is not too far from the truth. I was reviewing a product called the Seaport Digital Megamast. And we've got a full review for this over at DIYPhotography.net. So just uh, click the link here for the written review. But I uh, just want to give you a couple uh, quick overview of my impression of working with the Megamast. The Megamast is essentially a giant camera stand. It can extend up to a maximum height of 27 and a half feet. And as you can see from these photos taken uh, with a GoPro on the top of the mast, that's actually really high. And if you think about it, it's roughly the same view that you'd get if you were looking out of a third story window. Now what's even better is that the Megamast has a maximum capacity of six pounds, which means that you can use it with a full-size DSLR camera and lens combo. And it also gives you a, a stationary aerial platform as opposed to a drone so that you can use it for time-lapse photography, you can use neutral density filters for landscape photography, and you could also use it with longer exposure, which are all applications that are really impossible with a drone or any other way of getting your camera up this high. The Megamask consists of a central telescoping carbon fiber pole with aluminum legs and there's also an optional spreader stabilization system which I'd highly recommend because it just helps to keep the top of the mass stable if there's a little bit of a breeze. The build quality of all the materials is excellent and I was really impressed with the quality of the unit that I had to review. Now the whole system collapses down to be 64 inches long and it weighs 13 and a half pounds. Now I wouldn't say that the Megamast is super portable but because they use carbon fiber for the main structural elements it is light enough and compact enough that you can carry it around without too much effort. So if you're hiking into a remote location or traveling with it, it would certainly be something that you could take with you. To get it to Cuba, I packed my Megamast in a six inch diameter cardboard tube and uh, just shipped it with my normal uh, check luggage and I had absolutely no problems at all carrying it around and setting it up in Cuba. Overall, I really enjoyed using the Megamast. I think that it gave me a way to explore some artistic opportunities and create a, a certain style of photographs that I really wouldn't have been able to create any other way. And since returning from Cuba, I've just been thinking of tons and tons of different projects that I'd really, really like to use the Megamast for. So if you're interested in a Seaport Digital Megamast, click the link and head on over to DIYphotography.net for the full written review. I go into a little bit more detail on how I set up the mast and also some details on how to set your camera and how to use live view when your camera's on, on top of the mast. So I hope you enjoyed this review. And as always, don't forget to click subscribe and hopefully we'll see you again soon.